Alrighty, um, I thought I'd just hit record on this. I'm just going to run through this instant exit mission. It's just the easy one which I've done hundreds of times. Um, just familiarizing myself back up with the A10 systems. I thought it might be helpful to go through them as I do it. Um, might help people picking up the A10 or picking apart the what I'm doing. <laughs> Either of the two. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of things I could learn off it. Um, so I'm just going to hit fly then I'll do a quick um, setup. I'm going to reference, I'm not very good with the system terminology, I'll put it that way straight away. Um, now I reference HOTAS like commands though, um, I haven't got a, well a Warthog HOTAS, I haven't got a walk dog HOTAS but I'm going to reference those because that's how they're set up in the controls um, so my buttons are bound to those like the buttons on here but uh, you'll just have to work out what's the best setup that you have. All right, I hit fly. Two, Almost throws me right on the target, so I'm just going to pull off a bit. Two supply trucks are headed you at the fork in the river, left of the town, nine clicks ahead. All right. Groups are marked with green smoke. Two. Waypoint two, Mike's labeled supply, talking. is the target location. There's my target down there. All right, so I'm just going uh, to put on autopilot here in path mode, path hold, path hold holds your heading and your hand of attack, which is this button here, um, altitude, heading, the obvious holds your altitude and heading, altitude will hold your altitude but also your bank angle which is one of my favourites. Um, Alright, just a bit of clean up first of all, I'm going to switch this map because it's a bit hard to see the waypoints. Declutter it by pressing the map off. Uh, if I press this button again, it makes the left MFD soy or the TAD soy, which is a sense of interest. And um, at the moment, if I slew my TDC cursor with my horrible T1600 joystick slew cursor, um, I really don't like it. Like bound like this. I prefer my unlock to the map. I'll show you what I mean. If I press cool out forward once, or short I'll say, it will switch to this view which actually moves the map as I move the curse which I prefer much much better. Uh, Alright, um, incidentally the DMS hat switch, or DMS buttons forward and short will zoom in and out. Now I have um, waypoint 2 locked up, actually what I'll do, it's automatically switched to waypoint 2, I'm going to hit FPM here. This uh, auto means it switches automatically to waypoint, so I don't know how to switch that to the manual, so I have power over that, don't want it switching on top of me. So waypoint 2 is my where I want to hit, that symbology, you got a square where the waypoint is, yellow means it's selected as waypoint 2, the white, I was about to say Christmas cake, but wedding cake, um, is where your, what's called your speed, where your sensor point of interest is, where all your sensors are going to be um, aimed at. And I switch over here to my TGP, which is this little DB whacker out here. Um, now switch that there to ground. At the moment it is slewed out to here. If I make this my sense of interest and use the slew button, which everyone's probably done before, but there we go. If I want to do line up and not instantly DMS forward and aft, um, we'll zoom that in now. If I line up over a target like that, um, you'll see that's where it's pointed on the ground. So if you're just attacking things quick with a HUD, you can just move it over it. Uh, to change the sense of interest so uh, your sensors are quickly just zoom out a bit here. Um, that's the diamond where I'm pointed. That's the waypoint. So that's that point out there. If I wanted to make this my sense of interest and not that, over here all I have to do is press the TMS button on your joystick, whatever it is bound to. Just so level out a bit here. Uh, when I do that TMS up short, changes this to point mode or area. Area just basically tracks point on the ground, 
point mode will do that the same but um, it will track targets like you've got vehicles moving or whatnot and then if I press TMS up long hold it down it will put my sense of interest over to the target uh, which I'll discuss more later at the moment I know I put it back to waypoint 2 to do that I want the China hat button aft and I don't hold that long and that will put it back to the waypoint two. Puts all the sensors back to there. Alright, enough rambling, let's get back to the mission. There's my wingman out there. Use him later. It's a bit of a dodgy turn but I'm a long way away. Gotta hurry things up. I might speed time up with a few of these things if I've got nothing to talk about in between. So, bring the waypoint back around. Whoa, I've got a fair way out there. I'm at 8,000 feet, that's fine. So, I've put on altitude, heading hold. Okay, to switch between these, uh, you're using the coolie hat left, right, and up to go back to the HUD. So, hold down left, we'll go over to that side, hold down right over to that side and up once I should say right long and then up once we we'll put the this little asterisk means the HUD soy. Um, to switch these screens over you just press it cool out right and left just once and it flicks through them. Alrighty um, so to make that sense interest hold that cool hat down Zoom in, the smoke's already going out on these guys. I'm just going to leave it on area mode. Um, just going to make that my sense of interest by holding TM, TMC. Yeah, I've forgotten their name. TMS. <laughs> TMS, hold that up long. Uh, like I said, I don't use OTAS, so. Uh, anyway, I'm going to run in on the targets now. I'm just going to use guns um, to switch up to the guns. I've already got automatically by default everything armed so I'm just going to press the master mode arm button which is one of these on this HOTAS. My one's bound to that. Switches to guns. There's a reticle. When I get into target I'm going to... these dots are the range of the bullets. I'm not exactly sure. If you've got a mix of bullets or something, I think it's the designation where they're going to hit. Some way more knowledge can explain that. Um, this inner circle will decrease once I'm in range for firing. Um, probably around about just two and a half kilometers out it usually does. So I'm take it off autopilot, make the run in. Incidentally, that little, uh, you can't see too much, there's a little diamond with this arrow, like the line pointing out of it, tells you where your speed So there it comes down. Let's spin off that one, whoops. I hit my rudder then, it was a bit sensitive. Zoom out here, that should be two trucks down. I do not have the what hog where it's first detent stabilizes the guns or the trigger um, you can bind a button to that but I need my buttons for other things and I don't want to have to worry about the keyboard so I just usually do it a bit uh, messily the guns all right um, switch over here Nice job Three taking up these trucks. Right, so the I'm next target is in search of patrol, two trucks and infantry, a waypoint three labeled patrol. This next target. The target is marked with red smoke. Take it out. It's off my right wing because i got the TGP over here. I'll always scan for targets off my right wing so it doesn't get masked. Um, so if I press sad to hoi, the hard to hoi, it'll put the asterisk up the top and with the DMS up down 
can change waypoints. I want waypoint three, and I'll just slave my TGP to that waypoint. We'll move everything up to that one. Oink. Oops, miss hit. Um, hold coolie hat right long. Zoom in. I've got my two trucks out there. So I've done it so many times. Now there's two infantry on each. So I'm just uh, running on this one first. I press TMS up long or forward long. That will make it my speed. Now I'm going to run in on those. While I'm doing that, I'll just make my HUD um, sense of interest. And then I'm going to press, actually, first of all, just quickly press the DMS button. Now if I press DMS right once, actually, I'm still on gun mode. DMS right changes the gun pipper to different ways you can go from crosshair to the pipper or this other one up here which I'm not too familiar with but um, what I want is actually to select the rocket so I'll do master mode to CCIP so press the master mode button again and when I press right DMS now it'll just cycle through the weapons I want the rockets uh, which is similar to the gun pipper do the same thing. This here is actually the gun cross. That's where the rounds will land if you're doing the gun. So if you want to hit, shoot rockets, then the gun, you'll know where each will land. So I'm going to run in on these guys here. It's like two enemy, two infantry just off to the right of it. I'm not that great with rockets. They generally don't do too much damage, but see how we go. I'm not really running in properly, I should like roll in on him. I'm going to zoom in on this one. So my eyes are crap but it's better on the video anyway. So this is my first target. Oh, trimmed down a bit so I'm not fighting it. There it is, it's coming down and release. Put a few, couple of rounds on them as well. Pull up, pull up. Now pull off left. Infantry down. Now I'm going to come right, and then I'm going to put the target off to my oh four o'clock basically. Why I'm doing that is so I can scan back at the target when I'm egressing out and can have a look down here so I've got two enemy down plus the truck these guys over here I can't find the truck where do you run off to oh there he is I've got one truck there gonna make that my speed and two infantry around him um, it's my rockets gone switching back to warning guns. autopilot with the master mode button and I'll make a run on him first you work, take a drink while I'm doing it alright hopefully two doesn't run into me Okay, so uh, I'm tempted to make a run on these infantry first actually. For some reason I always survive those guys. And then I'll come back for the truck. So I just want to put this straight on here. So that diamond is where the there's the other guy. Pull up, pull up. Whoa. <laughs> uh, of course he survived, bastard. Gotta get used 
used to using my rudder a bit more subtly. So I've got one guy on the right still up and I'll try to take the truck out at the same time. Pull up, pull up. Yeah, I think that's the guy there. Whoop. Altitude, altitude. Pull up, pull that up. That wasn't a good gun run. Good job with that patrol. My trim was all Let's that. Now try the coming a bit further drop away the bridge away sure right. and make sure you bridge. But there anyway. There are a AAA units defending it. Waypoint down. Let's get set up. For the next waypoint. Waypoint four off to my left wing there. So, Hard Soy, Waypoint four, Sluice TDC to Waypoint four. Um, it's a bridge up here. I know there's also a AAA up there because I've done it before. So, I'm going to set up to launch a GB38 on the bridge, and I'm gonna hit the with the Maverick, hit the AAA with the Maverick. Um, so I'm gonna select Maverick first of all. So if I go DMS right now, oh, still on the gun cross, so you can switch off there. So Maverick, um, if I go to my DMS page, it should have selected Maverick then. Yep, AGM65. It's going to line up on the target, which is 11.4 out. Uh, this is probably going to happen pretty quickly. Alright, line up on the target. Now whack it on altitude, heading hold. Over here, make this soy. There's my, there's my bridge over here. Play over here. Anyone has a T1600 and tells me how to get this slew cursor better than what I have it, please tell me. It's most infuriating thing at all. So I put that point mode um, TWS. I think it's TWS. I forget the bloody number of the name of the hotel command, but hold that up long. I'm going to switch one, these screens so the Maverick's up. So you see over there, if I press China Hat forward now, it's going to slave the Maverick to that target that I've got selected there. Tap it once more, China Hat forward, just tap it, so holding it and it'll zoom in, then you press the TWS, I don't think that's the right name, but TWS button forward, short, will lock on, release, quickly going to switch over to the GBU-38s, Put my back to the um, to the waypoint. Gonna make this soy. Gonna zoom it up to the bridge. Out there. Oh my god, this slew. Gonna make that my soy. GB38 has that line in the middle. I'm just gonna line up now with the pipper. The little diamonds circling around the inner circle there. Reticules, I've got to hit pickle around about when that releases there. Bomb away. Mav's taking out that AAA and hopefully this GBU 38 become a bit less stable because I've got the weight on the wings after I release the weapons. Hopefully that hits the center of that bridge. With the bridge destroyed, let's head southeast to 8.5 level enough. tanks. You'll find a group of three tanks at a road intersection. They are marked as quickly. Gonna check the control of that one. So I forget the name. TMS. 
Oh, White Smith. Okay. Careful. They have both AAA and IRC um, in cover. All right. Let's check the TAD. C TGP, sorry. Um, so waypoint five off to my three o'clock ish there. Just gonna get balanced out. Autopilot. All right, waypoint five. I can just select it here. Tanks. Slew cursor. Make it slowly. Zoom in. And I've done it before. I know there's a AAA out there, and there's also a SAM site hidden in these trees. I'm going to use mark points for this, which is basically a sign in, kind of like waypoints, I guess. Um, but yeah, once you learn mark points, you've got everything covered basically. There he is, poke his head out. There he is. Okay, so I now make a mark point on this SAM site first of all, which is TMS right short. Now I'm going to move up here to the this AAA Ashoka. Good grief, I just love to have something with fine movements for a slew curse. But anyway, I'll stop complaining. Uh, okay. TMS short right there. So now, because I got all waypoints like there on the waypoint setting, if I switch it over to mark, mark the middle one, and it selects mark point. So at the moment, mark A, which is was my SAM site. So if I slave all sensors with the coolie hat, no, sorry, China hat aft long, we'll slave it to the uh, mark point. So when I switch it now, switches between A and B which are my two mark points. So I can mark up as many targets in that area as possible. I'll just do those two for now. But if I had like six Mavericks I could take them all out just on one run by switching mark points. And they're very good for like popping up. So because I've got that point on the ground assigned I can now go in behind a hill, pop up at the last minute and it's already got that set where it is. If not, it's a bit harder to like do it with a HUD and just assign your speed to certain points. Um, Alright, let's now turn in now on them. The only thing you've got to be careful of if you've enough distance out, you can already see the mark points a bit off because it's like hard to explain but you're looking, well the point is looking through target a bit so to the point on the ground past the target even though you've got the target in the crosshair. Uh, so if I zoom in I'll just do a bit of clean up and get a bit closer. Point mode. I don't know do TMS long there. Set up for a Maverick shot. I think I've got 38 selected still. 65D. Alright, um, slave the Maverick to the um, speed, which is trying to hat forward long. And I'm still a um, fair way out, 11. So I haven't got the range mark right yet, that'll pop up soon. Just my autopilot on. And as soon as I launch there, I'm going to switch over to the Shulker and set up my GB38, I think. So I don't want to waste the other two Mavericks for this. Uh, so it's coming in the range now. So if I go try and hop forward once, it'll zoom in. And you just keep tapping the TMS up button until it locks, basically. Okay, just keep tapping away. There we go, it's locked up, launch, and I'll just let that take care of it. Um, switch to GBE38s, uh, switch to mark point B, slave the TGP over to there, zoom out a bit, let's tidy that up, make that my 
speed by holding TMS up long. Take off autopilot and get ready to pick all that one. I'm at 9,000. Hopefully that's enough height. This thing won't shoot me. I've gotten all the safe heights for things and whatnot. It's pulling me left a bit at the moment. It's just all out of trim with the weapons releases. This is a bit of wind, I don't think so though. Alright, those diamonds going around, they'll start, semicircle will start decreasing. And pickle. Hopefully that will take care of that. Probably overkill hitting him with a GB38, but <laughs> he did. Um, all right, the other targets. So Warning, autopilot. There's the two, the SAM site hit as well down there. The other tanks are in between. Just going to come around, put them off my right wing. Straighten up. Autopilot. Just so quickly mark up these targets. Oh. Okay, mark point one. Mark point two. Like I said, TMS right short for the marking up. And mark point three. Oh, just fine movements, come on, there we go. So now I've got C, D, and E set up. Switch to C, put all the sensors to mark point C, which is this one. Boink. And for this I'm going to hit him with a GBU-12. Uh, I want to set this up so I'll go to my profile page. I'm going to do a CCRP run on this one. And over here, I'm going to keep all the lays off, I'm going to manually do it. Lays time, I'm going to set to about 7 seconds. Lays time is when the laser go is active, save that. Let's double check it. So CCRP, 7 seconds, all the lays off. And ready to run in. Incidentally, um, make sure that's laser, not IR. And I'm going to go over to here, control latch on, return. What that does is instead of holding down the laser button, I can just press it once and turn on and once to turn off. Alright, coming up on targets. This other line will come up, which we align with our people line. Don't know the terminology. Just level out a bit. Um, trim out. Um, so this, I think it's the Tisdu, or it seems to ring a bell. This little thing will start dropping down and go through the pipper, and you hold the weapon release as it before it goes in there, and it releases when it passes through. So you hold the pip, hold the weapon release down, and you'll get a countdown very soon with that. Um, so make sure this is lined up better. Point mode, make that speed. Get lined up here. 16 seconds. Looking good. Whoa. Looks looking good. Just straighten up now. Hold the weapon release and pickle. 
and uh, put the laser on would be good. Whoops. So you see it lays in there and lays in up here. If that wasn't too late. That's the nose wheel steering button to activate that. Car boom. Alright, one more two more tanks to go, but I'm gonna hit the next one with the turn the laser off. Another GBU thirty eight, so oh sorry, twelve. So put this on path hold or oh, attitude hold. Um, so GBU twelve for this one I'm gonna practice a CCIP. Um, I think I'm actually gonna put it down to like five seconds. Because I'm shit with CCIP. I've got a feeling it's not gonna uh, I'll get too low or something. Uh, auto lays on, lays time, save, so when I go to it now, it's on CCIP. Auto lays on, auto lays will, basically what it says, auto lays it rather than me hit the laser. Switch up to mark point D. Zoom on him, there he is. Let's tidy that up. 6.2 away, so I, like I said, probably my worst thing in DCS is CCI people on him. I never can get the angle right. Better look at a better tutorial for that one. Alrighty, coming up on targets. 30, 20, 10. There they are. Yeah. Proper way to do it is have it over on the uh, side here, then roll in on it. I should do that, but I usually mess it up. There's the targets down there. Alright, when it gets to about. Three, I'll move down about now. All Warning, right. autopilot. Oh, it's too early. Gotta get the angle right. Alright, let's try now. So, bring that down. Uh, get the pipper over it. Oh, that's terrible. Pull up, <laughs> pull up. release. Let's hope the laser fixes it up. Like I said, I'm the worst at that. Oh, I think it was long, was it? No, just clipped it. If that wasn't a laser one, I would have missed it by a mile, I think. Yeah, that's that one all done. I'm going to keep those Mavericks for the next waypoint, so I'm just going to skip ahead and... Mr. Wingman to engage armor with missiles. Default. Engage armor at my speed with Maverick. Check the map. Two, Roger. Two is just off to my right. There he is. Go get him too. They'll just do one pass and hit him, and we can move on. So it's just off to my nose now. Better view, watch him run in. Oh, there he is. In. 
this one here. Can I see the other one? You got all the tanks. The final target is an armor so. column moving along the road from north to south in the area on waypoint six. So the column. You can contact JTAC Playboy on BHF A9131 task. Okay, waypoint six is just off to my right. So keep it here. Contact JTAC 131, they said. Playboy 15. Playboy 1 1. This is Hog 1 1 2. E 10. Mike Mike 2 1 6 5. 11,000. Armed with AGM 65H. AGM 65D. GBU 12. GBU 38. Rockets 1,800. Cannon. Playtime is 0 plus 15. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? This out of hole, shoot hole, I'll go down there. That's what I was saying, it's very good just sitting in a lounge chair basically. Likes to do everything in the pit. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Ready to copy. Line is as follows one, two, three, and a two thousand six hundred. Can't eight. answer these MSL. manually. Tank column moving. I'm going to do it now, but. Skip up to the next waypoint. Pick a waypoint. Into the northeast. Yes. East. Advisement ready for remarks and further talk on. But he's going to send me data for this one. So I won't need to do that. Ready to copy remarks. Use AGM 65H. Zeus northeast. Zero nautical. Wind Perfect. zero one two at five meters per second. Two thousand six hundred. Mike, Mike, three, three, four, six, two, four. Some Read back correct. Somewhere. Hog. Oh, one, she's saying that. Stand by data. Hog. One. One. Anyway, um, if I acknowledge the new task in, this little red cursor here is where he wants me to look. If I put the cursor over there, put TMS up short, that will hook it. Then I do TMS up long, make it my speed, and also put uh, mark point TMS right short. Switch back to mark. Sensor to there, it's actually blocked by my wing at the moment. Let's tilt up a bit. Skip up to the next mark point. Mark point F is the one I want. So he wants me to look here. Let's see if I can find those. Where was it? I think they're along this road. They go into the village already. <laughs> I'd better luck visually. K 
came out of that town. Definitely got the right mark. I might have to. Oh, there they are. About to say I might have to do this visually. Switch the point mode. They're off my right wing. Um, I'll hit the front one, I think. And hopefully. Actually, no, I'll hit the Zeus first. I can always come back to the others. Um, won't go in a point track until I'm lined up like that. Pointing towards them a bit better. Hopefully. Just going to zoom in. Actually, I'll switch over to Mavericks to get that ready. Point track. Should be doing. Well, that's a terrible run. Just gonna break off. What it should do is lock on straight away. Oh, now it does it. Great. Let's see if I can do a real quick and dirty one here. Okay, TMS up, release. It shouldn't be that close. Way too dangerous. Ah, uh, but I got him. That's why sometimes it's better doing it visually. get disorientated if you look too much to the TGP so if I was wanting to switch to the TGP if I press uh, TMS up once puts it back up here so if I wanted to I'm just going to get a bit more distance I'm going to do it visually try to hit that lead truck Diamond on them like this. Shift it down. There they are. There. Point track. CMS up long. Slave the Maverick. Fire. Much better way of doing it. Hit that lead vehicle. slow them down yeah so sometimes just like having your head down too much can lose track of which way you meant to look on the TD, um, TGP uh, switch that back to the map alright I've got no weapons left so I'm going to get two just to run in and clean them up Hog 1-1 one, one. attack completed time Technically should have done that after the first one. Oops, wrong channel. Hog, one, one. Attack completed time. Hog, one, one, two. Units destroyed. Reattack is authorized. Alright. Hog, one, one. Abort, abort, abort. Now I can abort. Um, Hog, one, so my wingman, no damage. further casking available. Good 
Good job. You may depart. Armor. Two. Engage armor. Two. Roger. Two. Engaging target. Hopefully, hits them before they get into the town. He's already making his run in. Impressive work on that call. You can now RTV or continue. Alright, we went RTV for a bit of fun. We'll send two back. Return to base. RTV. I'm just going to put Copy. down. RTV. I'll try to do it between those two explosions. <laughs> straight as I thought that little strip. It's on a bit of a hill too. Altitude, altitude. on right now. Break, 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 break,